celebrating our black history. We know that we don't celebrate just one month because uh, we have so much history that needs to be told to our young people. But we are stopping today and honoring living legends that we have within this ministry. We've honored four of our individuals who have been instrumental in uh, great accomplishments in here in the city of Houston as well as in this ministry here at Trinity East. We're honoring Dr. Neldo Lewis. Uh, Dr. Uh, Veronica Price Morgan, uh, General Cameron Wells, and Mr. Roy Dean Moore. In their own ways, they have been a blessing to the Third Ward area as well as the city of Houston. So we just wanted to pause and give them their flowers while they are yet alive. I did not want to pass by Trinities without accepting the honor, the challenge of honoring those who deserve honor. We say it, do we really mean it? Give honor unto those who deserve it. If we said it and meant it, the middle school boys, the middle school girls would walk amongst us. They wouldn't have to pack a gun because they would be given honor and learning from those who deserve honor. Tell our stories, tell the history books, but tell about Mr. Wells and Veronica and Dr. Nelson and talk about uh, Mr. Moore and all the others that are unnamed in this church. Tell that history. When you tell that history, list them up. Just a few days ago, I told the rodeo, two weeks, you need to do something about African-American boys. We now have a Sheila Jackson Lee men mentoring program, their first day at the rodeo where they're gonna be mentored, coming from Cullen, coming from uh, North, North Forest, I mean Forest Brook over on the Northeast side, and coming from down South. Uh, middle schools dealing with children, when I have the power, little things, we try to make a difference in children's lives. God bless all of you. God bless this great church. Pastor White, thank you for your ministry and shepherding. Thank you so very much, and God bless the United States of America. So nobody hadn't told y'all about black history. I mean, I do know. It's to celebrate, it's to celebrate black, black people. It's to celebrate black people. Black writers. That's it. Who do y'all know? Who do y'all know? I know Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. A white What's his name? Something King. Yeah, there you go. Curtis Stockton. Okay. What else? Uh, what did he do? What do you know that he did? I mean, what did Martin Luther King do? Fought for the rights. Um, and uh, anything else you know about him? About. Um, oh, he moved his children. He moved his children to the ghetto uh -huh. to make family. Yeah, his family. Uh -huh. To the ghetto to make a point. My name is Jalen White, by the way. And right now in our history class, we're learning like about the civil rights and like it just taught us like how um, um, African Americans was like in the part of everything like through American history too, because like. When the Europeans first like came over here in the 1800s, like it showed us like they bought the slaves over here too. And then in World War II, like they fought for the country even if though like the country wasn't treating them right. And then it showed like in the throughout the 50s and everything um, about the civil rights and like how we fought and tried to like um, fight off the oppressors. And so Martin Luther King he paved the way. Um, what's his name? Oh, um, Malcolm X, he paved the way. Rosa Parks, she paved the way. Um, Thurgood Marshall, he, he, he paved the way too. And so, like, I just learned all of this. And, like, um, yesterday I was, like, in my Uber driver. <laughs> and he was talking about it too. Um, he was just telling me, you know, like, Telling me about like um you gotta be strong. He said, um, he said in the Bible, he said, I didn't know, I don't know if this stuff is true, but he like everybody in the Bible was black. He said, that, my but that was his opinion. I was like, okay, I don't know. He was like, oh, but like I know black people paid um, 
played a big part in our society. I was waiting on one of y'all to say Wakanda forever because it, like it looks like y'all looks like y'all wanted to say that, man. Y'all was talking about Wakanda. That what they was doing had some. <laughs> Look, the gas is doing that too. I can't do it. That's not good. Let me tell you. He got killed. Suck in for his stomach. You know. Oh, I know. Finally said something. Okay. Suck. <laughs> 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 he got killed for whistling at a white woman. And so his mama had an open casket funeral. And his body was very dysfunctional. And so she did that so everybody could see what they did to her to her son and basically and the man did not get prosecuted for it. They proceeded not guilty. Stop zooming in on me. I'm, I'm not I'm zooming in on you. Stop messing up my video. Right? I'm not talking. You gotta edit it. Oh yeah. You can. Well, I try not to edit these videos because I want it to be funny and people to get the background scene. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna be, stuff. it's gonna be yeah, real so funny. I was stuff I always throw it off. But, uh, no, I know Nick. you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your hair though? Your hair not oh, 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 yeah. The, the little poop ball. Oh, oh. My hair combed up. You ain't even got no edge control on today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try to play for hey, me, cause you yo, me, you know what? Don't, don't even come for me, cause you know I'm the best person who can do edges. So okay, don't even come okay, for me. Okay, I can do edges better than your wife. So don't black history. Me. A black person probably created edge control and eyelashes. Look at my head, shine. Make sure it ain't shine. Delete that footage. No, no, we ain't gonna delete that. We gonna keep all that. Uh, but for real, you know, while y'all was sitting in here though. They had Sheila Jackson Lee in there, and she was talking about, you know, history. And she basically talked about what I talked about in my sermon. And so sometimes I don't understand why older people don't really get it, that the kids need to understand the history, not only of, of, of Martin Luther King and Sojourner Truth and all these different people, but of your family. Because here's the thing, that's how we prevent all of the messed up stuff from happening. Like you, we probably done had parents that, that slept around, parents that done got high, parents that, that did all kind of stuff. But the reality is, if we can talk to them about it, you know, and put them in a better position than we was in, you know, then y'all will do better. I know, man, I grew up in the ghetto. I ain't want my son to stay in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? So I work hard to make sure that he wasn't in the ghetto. He ain't never seen that no parts other than me riding him around in my neighborhood telling him about his history. And see, I feel like that's my duty as a father to put him in a better place, but also to let him know where I came from. That's what black history is all about. Black history is about you understanding where you came from and the fight um, that these people went through, man, you know, being sprayed by water hoses, bitten by dogs, all kind of different <clears throat> stuff like that, so that you all can go to school with white kids, so you can go to school with anybody you want to go to school with, so you can get the same education that they got. I'm going to leave you with this. Education is the key, but we know that we can find education in Wakanda. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, oh, we got, we got to do yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done.